I just love that song. What can I say? Welcome to Living Local Central Texas. I am Brian Glenn, and welcome to a Monday edition of the show. And man, I'm telling you, if we could continue the fun we had on Friday with the drones, and I'm going to apologize. I've I took out the entire weather center with this rogue drone, but we got to put it back together, and we got a great show for you lined up today. We're going to talk about automotive problems you might look for in your car to see if it's going bad. We're going to do that. Plus, we're going to talk about cleaning your house and how you can do it and have somebody do it with a philanthropic edge to it. And guys out there with beards. Now, I've got a rough time growing any type of facial hair on me, but if you've got a beard, we've got the products and the place to go to groom that beard. And I'll tell you what. Without further ado, I'm an automotive guy, and I love driving cars. I love working on cars, but certain things I stay away from, and that is some of the bigger issues with a car. I stopped over to Ray's, and well, check it out. There is a slight possibility that I could be trading in this microphone today for a wrench, because I'm a car guy, but before I do that, i got to talk to a professional. I want to bring in my friend Ray with Ray's Automotive here on MacArthur, and there is a difference between a mechanic and an automotive technician. Yes, sir, there is. We're living in a modern-day world where everything's actually electronic nowadays. Yeah, it seems like cars more and more are one gigantic computer on wheels. Okay, Ray, give me the number one reason why someone comes in here. Diagnostics. That's it. Engine light. Engine light. The dreaded check engine light. When it comes on, it ruins my day. It just does. Okay, so it seems like cars now, uh, compared to early, are just giant computers on wheels. Yes, sir, that's right. There's various modules that control various things on that vehicle. So how? take me through the steps, how you find out what's causing the check engine light. A lot of times we use a scanner like this one here called a Snap-on Solus, and it actually charts. It actually uh, helps us diagnose various sensors on the engine. And it could be anything as like uh, low oil to, I've had the, the gas cap wasn't screwed on tight enough. That caused it. That's right. Exactly right. All right. So let's go back over the, the wide range of vehicles that you would work on. I mean, we were talking before this segment uh, about imports versus domestics and, you know, which vehicle is more prone to, to problems. Do we have a vehicle that someone's driving right now that you might want to say, okay, check to see if there's hesitation? Let's talk about some of the common problems. Okay, some of the common problems are hesitation, uh, cylinder misfire, low fuel pressure, uh, low tr transmission fluid, you know? Is there stuff that people can do to kind of, uh, on their own, to prolong the life of their car until they have to finally come see a technician like you? I would say stay with the basic maintenance. Just basic maintenance? Basic maintenance. Which would include, like, what, oil? Oil changes, uh, intervals, you know, every 60,000 miles, every 45,000 miles, things of that nature. All right, thanks to Judy on our Facebook page, who reached out to us with an automotive question. If you hadn't liked us on Facebook, go do that right now, Living Local Central Texas. And she asked, I've got a vehicle that, that cuts out when you accelerate. Like, come on, what could that be? Several different issues that could be. And like what? A fuel, it could be a fuel problem, it could be a condition problem. Maybe like sp plugs? Smart plug, maybe. Okay. And also, here's another question we got from George. He says, why in the world do my brakes keep squeaking? Now, that could be, I'm just, I'm not a technician, but I'm guessing it could be low on pads. I don't know. Right. That could be also uh, the quality of the pad. Oh, that's good. That's true. Yeah. You know, the, uh, you know, uh, it could be the uh, machining of the rotors. There you go. So, any kind of questions like that, please submit it to us on our Facebook page, and we'll get it over to Ray. Okay, so we've got a vehicle here. We've got, look, a Chevy Suburban is what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, what are we looking at this for? What's wrong with this one? This one's actually having a uh, reduced engine failure. Oh. Real common problem on these vehicles here with uh, electronic throttle bodies. Take me through the process of how you would diagnose this. This vehicle here actually has an intermittent failure. When that vehicle actually drives down the road, it has reduced power uh, that's actually lighted on the actual cluster. And that being said, uh, we have to go in and hook up a, a scanner. To, uh, to determine what, what failure or what codes that is actually uh, at fault. Now, whatever that code is, is what you guys drill down and try to eliminate that. Uh, just as another uh, word of advice, I guess you would, how often should you have your oil changed? Well, every 3,000 miles. Every 3,000. Now, you, you hear stuff that says, well, I have synthetic or I have a newer model car. Does it not matter? Well, actually, it does matter. Depending on the oil and the brand that you're buying, uh, matters a lot. There you go. All right, so if you have any questions, head over to Ray's on your Facebook page. What kind of, you want to promote that? Let's Ray's Automotive Specialist. 
here in Waco. There you go, here in Waco. And of course, if you hear the beeping in the background, that's not this vehicle, I can promise you. It runs great. It's construction that they have out front of here in MacArthur. So you're going to have some construction. You're going to have some graders. You're going to have some people with orange vests. Be Please drive careful around them. But come on over. They're open for business. This is not stopping anybody from coming in. No, sir, not at all. There you go. All right, so as we go, as we go, uh, can I get you, would you, do you feel comfortable giving me a wrench to work on this vehicle? Not at all. I thought that would be the answer to that, and you're a wise man. We got plenty more ahead. Stick around. Don't go anywhere.